Welcome to God's Five Minutes with Pastor Ed Wilson. Reach him at God's Five Minutes at gmail.com. Now, here's Ed Wilson with God's Five Minutes. Hello, friends. In many ways, our world is a troubled place. People said good for evil and evil for good. If we allow the dust of political and moral turmoil to get in our eyes, we can lose sight of some fundamental truths about this planet we call home and the destiny the Bible prophesies for it. The first verses of the 47th Psalm read, O clap your hands, all ye people, and shout unto God with a voice of triumph. For the Lord Most High is terrible. He is a great king over all the earth. He shall subdue the people under us and the nations under our feet. He shall choose our inheritance for us, the excellency of Jacob, whom he loved. David wrote those lines about 3,100 years ago, and he was speaking, first of all, to his own people, the Israelite nation. In some respects, the prediction came true during his reign. For God made a great nation of Israel, as he had promised, and he gave David peace from foreign enemies. During his time as king, his people were able to dwell safely in the land they had inherited through the commitments God had made to Abraham. But these hallowed verses mean much more than a prediction of the prosperity of a generation long past, who, after all, held only a small portion of the earth under their dominance. The verses stretch out into the future, as New Testament writers also told us, based on inspiration and their own conversations with the Lord Jesus himself. And we do well to be reminded of them from time to time. Oh, clap your hands, the psalm begins. Clapping hands is what people do when things are going well and they're happy with the results. There are lots of folks who could tell you today they don't have much to clap about. There are too many broken homes, too many oppressive governments, too many unjust workplaces. There are cruel masters, cheating shopkeepers, and rebellious tribesmen. It is a mystery why God allows the evil that he does in his world. We have some hints of it in the Bible, and we have a record that all of earth's miseries began with Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. There's much we'll never understand in this world. Why do good people suffer? Why do evildoers succeed? The unveiling of these mysteries belongs to another dimension, a time and place where right triumphs over wrong. The promise was not just to Israel. The verse says, O oh, clap your hands, all ye people. The meaning is that the salvation God sent through Jesus Christ is a big tent. There's room in it for every nationality, race, gender, all of the tribes and kinders of earth. He does not promise us justice while in this world. He did not receive justice himself. What he does promise is keeping grace to guarantee the pressure to allow our hearts to be filled with hatred and wickedness will never be more than we can withstand if we've set our hearts on him. But there is an end to these things, which other world David joyously looked into and told us it will be a time of hand-clapping rejoicing. The Lord Most High is terrible. In the original, the word means greatly to be respected, reverent, awful, and magnificent. Although he may allow people to choose their course today, whether it be good or bad, there is coming a day when every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess unto God the deeds done in the flesh. Today, people live in denial and blame their neighbors for their sins. They criticize generations past. They find fault with parents and the institutions of society. When our Lord was here, he never excused anyone from his inexorable command to go and sin no more because they had an abused background or had been disadvantaged in life. When judgment day comes, there will be a just and final reckoning. God has promised to subdue all nations before the truth of his holy word. The murderer who was never caught, the liar who deceived, the adulterer who broke up homes, all must face a just God and give an account of the lives that they have lived. Before him shall stand the entire universe. Then there shall be shouts of triumph, and there shall be all nations put under Jesus' feet, according to the law that he made for his world, just as he prophesied. Have you talked to him today? You have been listening to God's Five Minutes with Pastor Ed Wilson. Reach him by email at g-o-d-s-f-i-v-e minutes at gmail.com. Tune in next time to hear more encouraging thoughts from God's Word on God's Five Minutes with Pastor Ed Wilson.